Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about a drug called methotrexate. In my previous lecture, I discussed large B-cell lymphoma. Before proceeding with its treatment options, I decided to make videos about anti-cancer medications to refer to them while discussing therapeutic modalities for each cancer. The first medication I will talk about is methotrexate. This medication is used for various diseases, including different types of cancer. Let's first talk about how it was discovered. Methotrexate was first discovered in mid-1940 by Dr. Yelapragada Subarao, an Indian biochemist from Harvard Medical School. Subarao was researching folic acid and its related derivatives or analogs. At that time, methotrexate name was aminopetrine. In 1947, Dr. Sidney Farber, a pediatric pathologist from Boston Children's Hospital, and his research team found that aminopetrine could potentially cause remission in a specific blood cancer. In 1951, Dr. Jane Cook Wright, another cancer researcher and surgeon from Harlem Hospital Cancer Research Center, discovered the effectiveness of methotrexate on non blood cancers. Hence, the research on methotrexate continued to grow and its therapeutic effects on other malignancies were gradually uncovered. So how does methotrexate work? Methotrexate is a folic acid analog that belongs to the anti-metabolite group of antineoplastic or anti-cancer medication. As we know, cancer cells grow and divide very fast, so they need to produce more cells components such as DNA. DNA belongs to a nucleic acid family, which carries genetic information. For DNA production, cancer cells require folic acid. Methotrexate causes damage to the DNA production process by inhibiting the function of an enzyme called dehydrofolate reductase, or DHFR. This enzyme helps modify folic acid to a cofactor that helps synthesize organic compounds called purine and primidine. Purine and primidine bases are fundamental for DNA production. As a result of this damage to the DNA production, cancer cells cannot divide. Methotrexate is used in different types of cancer. It can be used in head and neck cancer, leukemia and lymphoma and related subtypes that involve the central nervous system, breast cancers, a specific bone cancer called osteogenic sarcoma, bladder cancer, and gestational trophoblastic disease, which is the abnormal growth of specific cells in the uterus that related to pregnancy. Methotrexate can be used for treatment purpose as a prophylactic agent to prevent cancer from spreading to other organs or for eradicating bone marrow from cancer cells remnant for marrow transplantation. Concerning methotrexate effectiveness and adverse effects, we need to know that drugs can influence methotrexate levels in our blood and hence result in less effectivity or higher concentration of drug in our body, which can cause toxicity. For instance, proton pump inhibitors, which is a group of antiacid, can reduce the rate of elimination of methotrexate. Another instance is folic acid, which can compete with methotrexate and lower its effectiveness. Methotrexate is mainly removed from our body by the kidney. Hence, kidney function correlates with the level of methotrexate in our body. Medications such as aspirin and acid cephalosporin, which is a group of antibiotics, can affect kidney, which may result in toxicity after methotrexate administration. In, there are different scenarios also that can cause methotrexate toxicity or manipulate its effectiveness. One of them is organ dysfunction. As we know, methotrexate is mainly removed from our body by kidney, and kidney function can affect methotrexate clearance, and a higher level of methotrexate can result in kidney damage. This will result in a vicious cycle. Further, as I discussed in the pancreatic cancer video, a specific malignancies and medical condition cause fluid accumulation in our body or body cavities. This phenomenon is called third spacing, resulting in methotrexate accumulation in our body and toxicity. Also worth to mention that methotrexate is contraindicated in pregnancy. 
it is toxic for the fetus and even can cause abortion. What are the side effects of methotrexate? Besides renal or kidney toxicity, methotrexate can cause damage to our nervous system, the skin, and liver. And the damage to the liver specifically happens in higher doses and duration. What are the measures to prevent the toxicity? In order to prevent the toxicity, we can measure the level of the methotrexate in our serum or blood during the treatment or after, and also we monitor the kidney function. What can we do to prevent methotrexate toxicity? To prevent methotrexate toxicity in high doses, we use sodium bicarbonate, which is an alkaline solution. The concept is by increasing the pH or lowering the acidity of the urine, we will increase the excretion rate of the methotrexate from the kidney and prevent toxicity. Further, a medication called leucovorin, a folic acid analog, is used after methotrexate administration to prevent folic acid deficiency in normal cells. Leucovorin is a folic acid in an active form that also competes with methotrexate. As a result, DNA synthesis will be continued even in the presence of the methotrexate in our body. Here I conclude the lecture about the methotrexate. Thank you so much for your attention and I will see you in the following lecture.